Hi Lori. Hi Yvonne. Welcome everybody. Hi Erin. Hi Corey. Hi Joni. I don't know what it's like in Guelph, but here in Curtis, it's raining now. It was nice all day, but now it's raining. So, hi Carolyn, hi Janet. As long as it's just rain and not that white stuff, I'm done with the white stuff. <laughs> hi Deborah. Hope you guys are all having a good Wednesday. Oh, really, Corey? My husband works in Bowmanville. He got a job here last year, so that's why we moved to Curtis. Oh, oh it's cold and wet in London. Hi, Diane. Yeah, that's why I'm only in the store once a week, maybe on Saturdays if I'm lucky. It's a little far to drive now, unfortunately, but got to go where the work is. It's raining in Burlington, Carolyn. I missed you, Lori. Hi, Anne. Hi, Diane. Did I miss saying hi or did I miss you? Miss you. <laughs> hi, Kate. Hi, Ghislaine. Raining and windy and opal. Yeah, it's windy here too. It's crazy. Hi, Linda Pilgrim. Crummy sleet. Well, good day to stay in and watch me um, do stuff, right? Hi, Joanne. Oh, hi, Lori. But I said hi to you right away. I'm sorry I missed you. I didn't mean to miss you. Hi, Linda Sands. I'm sorry if I missed anyone that's saying hi. Hi, Joni. Oh, you live in Windsor. Okay, well, no wonder I never see you. <laughs> that's a little far from us. Hi, Melinda. All right, we've got a great crowd. I'm so glad you guys tuned in with me tonight. Um, I'm going to show a few things that I've created with these fun stamps. Um, they're quite versatile. They're not just for stamping for cards. You can use them um, for anything. But I'm going to show you a couple, well, one new trick anyway that I learned. Or, I don't know, a couple things. One for sure that I did. Hi, Melinda. Oh, I think I said hi to you. Sorry. <laughs> you got a double hi. Um, I just don't want to miss anybody. Um, and so before I get showing you... Um, the stamps and dies. Yeah, aren't they great, Jennifer? They're just, um, they're very versatile and so easy and the dies cut out a nice thank you or whatever word you want. Um, so we'll get, I'll get showing you how, what I did with those. But before I do that, I, um, I wanted to show you a couple kits that I created or that I, yeah, that I created before I forget. So the first one um, that I'm going to do is uh, for two two-page layouts. Uh, one is going to be Easter and one's going to be spring. Now um, I don't want to show you the layouts because they're all in pieces all over the place but it's using the My Favorite Easter by Echo Park collection kit. Hi Barb! Um, so you'll get a collection kit, you'll get four sheets of cardstock, and a half a pack of um, enamel dots, and then um, you can. I'm going to do this through a Zoom class on April 6th, I think it is the first Wednesday in April. Um, but if you can't attend the Zoom class, I have full instructions as well. If you don't want to attend the Zoom class, I have full instructions. Now there's only six kits available. Um, these ones are $32.99, so that's $32.99 for two 
two pay 12 by 12 layouts um, which is a great price plus you have a lot left over that you can make some cards to go with the layouts or you can make more layouts um, whatever you like but that's um, the one it is cute paper isn't it I use most of the stickers I pulled them off but that's totally <clears throat> hi Judy yes kits kits Melinda for sure and then um, this one I really am in love with I made a wedding album kit so you guys can see that bring it in a little closer not too close so again this kit there's only six that are in this store um, and it is a it is a, um, a little on the higher side it's $74.99 but you get so much in it it's totally 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 worth it so you get um, so I'll just go I'll flip through it so you can see what's what it looks like so these are like chipboard pieces and of course the flowers um, the book is 49 and market the binder and there's pages inside that are by 49 market and so you know 49 market is really 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 good so thanks Corey um, the flowers are, by, are from 49 market as well you can see the flowers and I, of course added some blingage hi Linda Taylor thank you and there's some chipboard here you can't really see it but you can see it in real life uh, this will be in the store um, once I get done showing you guys it'll be in the store over the weekend so then you also get two pockets um, that are 49 market that go in the in the kit or with the album so this is just the front load pocket um, and then on this side there's this is an insert that's already in there and then you open that up and there's uh, this side and I made a little flap and I everywhere you see white there that's a picture I've got so many pictures in here that uh, and that's what a wedding album needs right so there's a, um, that and this one also has a flip up like that and then this I have it as a pocket so you could put I have ephemera in here you could put pictures on there and again chipboard and puffy stickers on that one and you flip it over oh, I don't want to squish my flowers <laughs> and then I have a, a belly band to hold some pictures as well if you can see that Ooh. thanks you guys and then on this side I have the groom and these are cardstock stickers oh there's a I don't know why my bling is falling off so make sure uh, that should be up there <laughs> and you flip that open and then on this side I didn't put a picture on here because I really liked the wedding dresses I don't know I really liked it but I made um, a side waterfall so you can tuck pictures in here all over lots lots of space for pictures and another big picture and then that one and then there's three there's three um page papers three foldy things that are in here that I filled and then so this one I made up a side pocket and then you just tuck pictures in the side like that and then this is the third one I made this a pocket here so again you can tuck pictures inside there um, some more ephemera pieces that are bigger ones that I just made in little tags but you could put writing on the back as to what happened that day what kind of cake it was on this one and then you flip that open and there's another pocket tuck some tags in you can put a picture on there and then I made another side waterfall on this one put more pictures that and then um, one big picture here oh I got dirty 
And then this one is a pocket as well with a with a flap. And then these have magnets to hold um, memorabilia or more pictures, whatever you like in there. And then the, the back. So thanks, you guys. Thank you. So this kit um, for this book, I brought one home to show you everything that's in it. So you get the full full instructions, color instructions by myself. Uh, you get a package of the ephemera. So this is the, it's called Wedding by Echo Park that I used um, the papers and the ephemera from. You get a pack of puffy stickers. Look at puffy stickers. Like, oh my God, love puffy stickers. Then you get this package of 49 and Market flowers, some bling, magnets. Magnets are included. The uh, 49 and Market um, album. And then the half a pack of the pockets, which is like the one without the lid, the one with the lid, and then a template to cut out your paper to match to fit right on the lid or on the pockets. And a pack of the chipboard phrases. Like fun. And then, of course, you get 10 sheets of printed paper, which is like that one. Like, look at those roses. Oh, I just love them. It, oh, this, this album is so fun to make. And I knew, no, noticed someone a while ago had asked if we had a wed wedding album. And I'm like, I'm going to make one because we didn't have one. Aren't the flowers gorgeous? Oh, so lovely. There's some little signs, rings, the wedding dresses. I really love the wedding dresses. I don't know. It's so, so fun. Oh, and I sponge too uh, around the edges with a, a light pink, but you could do a different color if you wanted to. The, the wedding bouquets. And then that one, the wedding cakes. I added them, Lori. I added them with paper, with paper from the, um, like, um, this paper. The printed paper is what, how I added them. And then, of course, uh, the 12 by 12 cardstock stickers. And I used everything. I think I had, I don't know, I may have had enough left over to make a card. Um, so... You could make make it for a gift um, and give it for a gift and then you can make a card to go with it to give us a gift that'd be a perfect wedding gift to give to somebody for sure just tuck these all back in here so they're out of my way i'll bring that back to the store all right so yeah let me just show you again Lori. Um, yeah, I just used papers, the um, printed paper, and then I matted all my pictures with cardstock and then my pictures, right? So it makes it pretty sturdy. They're pretty sturdy. Yeah. Hi, is that Heather? Hi, Heather. <laughs> You're welcome. Just showing off my, my album I'm so proud of. Okay. So that is um, that, and I will have the link for that. Um, Yes, exactly, Karina, for the couple that has everything. Thanks, Erin. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you. And now we'll get going on these fun um, stamps. So if you haven't checked them out, check them out because we have a ton, a ton of these. And they're so fun. And you can intermingle them uh, amongst all the different stamp sets. You don't have to just use one stamp set for one particular thing like you could use thank you with some of these ones so I have um, this one is friend and it, they come with matching dies um, so the dies actually cut out the word and it has a background so um, it cuts out the background like I cut this one out it's extra and then you cut out the word for
friend and put it over top and then it just it's really cool I'll show you um, you'll see what I mean if you don't understand and I just keep my dies that match my stamp sets in these Avriel's um, envelopes so that they're all together I don't have to go looking for them so this one is friend and then I have um, thank you and I think there's two different thank you ones there's a thank you and a thanks if I'm not mistaken oh you're welcome Lori um, so this one's thank you and again like the stamps are stamp sets are 1849 and you get all these words and then the die is 1329 and again you get this one has three dies in it I or four that's four that's four so you have two of the backgrounds and then the thank you um, if anyone has a good tip on how to get these apart without this um, pointy wire poking you I think I need to get metal cutters I think that's what I need to get but anyway kind of sidetrack there um, so this is the thank you one and then I also have the happy one and the happy also comes with the die um, that cuts out happy and the background so I have that again just tucked in there and when I get organized I will do that with my happy one as well <laughs> um, so like this thank you if you can see all the sentiments there's even some little hearts that's so cool so uh, you amaze me you rock from the bottom of my heart so much uh, I appreciate your generosity I couldn't have done it without you um, there's so many different sayings in there it's so awesome the friend one is funny it's got some funny stuff in there um, adulting is hard uh, happy 29th birthday from your 110 pound and you could put friend um, it's okay to not be okay there's nothing better than a friend a friend bails you out <laughs> a friend is in the same cell with you I married my best friend um, I thank heaven for a friend you're more than a friend you're an inspiration hang in there um, be well my friend like there's so many um, and then there's a oh that's an exclamation mark point and this is an A you can get just the letter A like so instead of your uh, or incredible fabulous friend like friend a ah, friend like you, you put the little A in front of it anyway so they're really 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 I don't know so versatile and the stamp sets are only 1849 and you get all that um, the happy says there are so many reasons to be it could be happy hello it says happy Halloween Valentine's Day there's anniversary birthday um, looks good on you you make my heart wishing you a very be someone who makes others feel today is a good day do what makes you happy camper be this has an explanation port point as well and then a little O um, that's an I I think like a capital I so they're really really cool I think anyway and I'm glad I've got a few to start and I will eventually have them all because they're awesome so <laughs> so let's see what I did with them oh metal snips and a magnetic bowl okay great thanks Jennifer there is so many different combinations like you could do um, you could do thank you adulting is hard like why not because you know someone helped you or um let's see you could say you're a great friend because you make my heart happy you could put them together like you can definitely mix them up so this um whew, sorry about that i made this card so what I did was I made my own background so with the friend stamp set I took all of these um, words and I put them on my die or on my block I don't know if you can see that oh let's see Is that better maybe see I put them all on my block all the words 
all the phrases I should say. Hi Claudia. And I just used it as um, a background stamp. So I just kept inking it up and and um, and stamping it on my piece of paper. And so then I have all these different, different fun sayings. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just let it focus. Oh, let me turn my light on. There we go. And then I cut friend out. I cut the background out with um, shiny silver paper, the opulent silver. And then I cut friend out with, um, I don't know if you guys have found this paper yet, but it's paper with adhesive on the back already. So you just have to cut out your shapes or your words or your images and you peel off the back and it's sticky already. So that is, and um, I can't remember the name of these, but they're only $1.20 for a 12 by 12 sheet. Um, so yeah, so that's how I cut that friend out. Was I cut it out with one of those? I think it was, yep. And then I just stuck it on there. And then I cut some hearts with some stickles. I used some silver stickles to make my little doop. Yeah, the glitter just makes it all shiny, right? And if you're sending this to a friend, they need some shiny. Stay weird. That's <laughs> that's for you, Karina. Stay weird, my friend. Yeah. So that's um, how I did that one. Then I did, um, whoops, I did this page. This is um, an Elizabeth Crafts journal page. It is, um, from Planner 26. I cut out the page. And then I just stamped with the with the words, I just stamped happy in three spots. And then, um, I don't know Heather if we have any more of these or if you can get any more of these, of these ones. These are the dies that they cut out all these little shapes. Like actually they're just all um, rectangles. They cut out all these. And so then they fit all the words. Like when you're wanting to, if you want to stamp a word on a piece of paper rather than trying to stamp it and then, try, then trying to cut that out. Um, I got this a while ago and I didn't see any in the online store. So I don't know if we can even get them anymore. Um, oh, the mono adhesive. Thank you, Heather, for posting that. Um, yeah, it's, I bought lots too, Carolyn. I bought a whole bunch of that paper once and think I can find it. I can't find it, so I had to buy some more. <laughs> Anyhow, this one is called the Sentiment Strips. So I don't know how they're... Oh, they're on order. Yeah, the, those are the, the Sentiment Strips. So they're on order. These are really cool. So I just um, cut out a whole bunch. And because the stamps are photopolymer, you can see right through them when you're stamping, right? So, um, I don't have a problem with punching out all of these and then stamping on top of them because um, you can see right through it, right to where you're stamping. Boop. So that's what I did with, with these, um, these ones. So I stamped happy all over and then I just put some different um, sayings here that I'm going to put in one of my journals. So this one's happy thoughts. Today's a good day to be happy. Do what makes you happy. Be someone who makes others feel happy. And then I added some of the, um, let it focus here. Come on, focus. There we go. Then I added some of the 49 and market flowers that I had left over. And I just um, sponged some blue around the edges, some navy blue. And then this here is from, um, I don't know, one of the many um, reinforcements that Elizabeth Crafts comes out with. Uh, there's two packs of reinforcements right now. I have them. And then usually um, 
one of the set the sets will also have a, a reinforcement with them. I think uh, the photo the the phone booth had little phones, and I think I stuck it on here. Yeah, there's some little phones. They're so fun. And again, I uh, I cut this out with the with the adhesive paper and just stuck that on there. And it says love this. That's so cool. I didn't even know it said that until I was looking through them. But that's that, that's that one. Okay, so then I did this card and I'm gonna show you how I did this because I um it says thank you all the way across and then I have hopefully focus focus from the bottom of my heart on one of the little pieces of white paper so I'm gonna show you how I did this because I learned this trick uh, when I attended um I was attending an online crop a couple weeks ago maybe longer no yeah it was in February so I wanted to show you this because I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Let's get my inks ready. And I think with this one I'm going to use the word happy. So I'm going to use the word happy. So I just um, taped my paper down. Now you could use your... Um, make it station, make it art station, but I'm going to just use this because I need the lines, but the make it art station has lines too. I'm just going to ink up my stamp and I'm just going to go across the top. can't see very well. I've got it up high so you guys can see what I'm doing. And just go from here to here. A few of you may know what I'm doing because you've attended the same same crop, same class as I did. <laughs> That's okay. It's all about sharing, right? We're sh all to share what we've learned. So then, in order to stamp the next line and make it even, you take dental floss. I'm serious, dental floss. And then my stamp's about an inch. Whoops. So then I'm just going to measure down an inch and I'm going to put my floss, no, nope, my floss here. Because this is how far down I want to go. I don't want to go over that line. Now I'll do my next, my next one. Uh, I'm going to go in the middle this time so I offset it. And then one on either side. <laughs> Thanks, Valerie. I think so too. And then I'm just measuring down an inch on my um, Tim Holtz board. Our, our crafting mat mixed media mat but you could use your make art station too because it's got measurements too and then you just do the same thing with your next color and you just keep going down until you're at the end so depending how big um, your stamp is depends how far apart like how far down you go with your dental floss. So another great way to use your dental floss. <laughs> I won't finish it because I don't want you to be all bored. Anyway, and I just use washi tape to hold to hold either end of my dental floss down. Oh, this washi tape is not it's not like my white paper. Okay know that and then I just have one more idea that I have to share <clears throat> just gonna wipe
wipe my ink off here. Yeah, that'd be good for like anything you want a straight line on. Just use your dental floss and some tape and away you go. <clears throat> so then I thought I'd make a slimline card and I'll make it with you guys. Thanks, Lori. I don't know if you saw them do that trick or not, Lori, because you and I were in the same, the same class. But it was one of those that, if you didn't watch, you could watch later, like you could, like we do with Lucy. Okay, um, so I gotta poke these out. So again, I cut out my thank you with the paper that's adhesive already just popping out the middle parts so I decided to make uh, I would make a slimline card using my thank yous and um, my Elizabeth craft die the signpost which is from planner 29 I use the sign thing. I'm going to use the sign thing. And I use a pink fresh stencil, not pink fresh, um, picket fence. <laughs> picket fence stencil. I think we have some of these left. It's only like $3.99 or something. I got this one for Christmas. So I just grabbed some of the coral cardstock that I really like and I just inked up some of the, cor the corners. Yes, exactly, Valerie. <laughs> That's okay, Lori, now you know. <laughs> um, so I inked up the corners with um, some coral ink uh, just to give it a little more something because it was just too plain. I also sponged ink on my white after I cut this out because it was just too, too white. And so what I'm going to do is take some of the thank you sentiments, I think. And I'm going to stamp right on there with, where's my black? Here it is. I'm just going to stamp some of the sentiments right in my sign. So like versatile, everything is versatile. You can find, um, if you can find more than one use for something why the heck not right so I just have this little cube of extreme black by my favorite things I'm just going to stamp some things on Hopefully they're not, the ones I like aren't too big. No. And I'll show you something else you can do with these stamps because they're pretty cool. Hopefully I won't forget. Oh, I like it. I need to, I'll clean these off later, don't worry. I like when a plan comes together. I had this in my head all day. I was hoping it would work out and it's going to. Um, It's just a little one, but that work. I like that one. You rock. Uh, 
Like, aren't these sayings just like, there's so many, like, it's just awesome. You amaze me. You made my day for all you do. I appreciate you so much. You rock. Thanks, Lori. Yeah, it's like fun. So then um, I will, you could pop this up, but I think I'll put it right flat on because I want to pop up my thank you instead. Take my glue. I don't smudge the black. I don't think it will. One thing you got to be careful if you have shiny white paper and you stamp on it, you don't want to smudge. You make sure it dries. Well, that's good. All right, so then I cut out my backgrounds. Well, you guys can see that okay. Try and bring it down closer. <laughs> without it falling. <laughs> okay, I cut out my backgrounds and I cut out my thank yous. So, it goes this way. <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't look like it's gonna fit. So then you just peel off the back and it's a sticker already. And you just put that on there. Oh, I think I'm off a bit, there we go. This one looks like I cut it kind of wonky. I did cut it kind of wonky at the bottom. It looks like I missed the paper, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna grab some pop dots. Cause I like to pop dot. And if you wanted to, you could stamp those in different colors too. If you really wanted to. I'm going to go, hmm. Thank you. Then I think add some bling so I don't know if you guys have seen these yet in the store I, oh really Heather yeah it's just Basil's discontinuing it oh my gosh that's rude <laughs> why would they do something for something that's so handy oh my gosh um anyway um these are awesome little uh, jewel mixes. They're light pink fresh, but they're not. They're, these ones are by Buttons Galore. Um, so they're a little bit a smaller case, but you still get a lot of different colors. And look, they're like awesome jewels. Like I love bling. Um, love to add a little bit of bling to my, to my cards. So I think... Where should I add some? <laughs> and they're different sizes too. They're not all the same size. So that's even better. Like, oh, I need my jewel picker. Where is that? Here it is. I don't know if you guys don't have one of these yet. You got to get one because they're awesome. All you do is pick up your jewel and put it where you want to put it. Cool, right? Like, got my jewel <laughs> I 
<laughs> ah, shoot. Um, okay, I think I'm going to put some here. Oops. Maybe some up here too. Kind of offset it. Oops, I missed the glue there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And like, I used six and I still have a ton left in my little bucket. And like, look how cute they are. They're so cute. <laughs> I love things that are cute. A little cute. So that's the jewel picker. If you don't have one of those, get one. Um... So there we go. So like how fun is that? So I think that is all I really had to show you tonight. Um, so I had showed you my layout kit. Get that if you're interested. Um, the wedding album kit. Get that if you're interested because there's only six of each of those. Um, and then these fun stamp sets. I have three so far and I will be getting more that's for sure. Say it with stamps and these are on order. You want to get those because they go fast. As soon as they come in they seem to be gone right away. So um, I use the thank you, I use the friend and I use the happy and I will have links in my post once my post gets saved for everything. All right everybody any questions about anything? Which mix? Um, that one is oh Jay Z Holiday. This one's Jay Z Holiday, and uh, I don't know if they're all in the store or not. Oh, this one is gone. Um, but there's this one as well. I took that one off. It's got like just the neutral colors mostly. Yeah, the jewels are awesome, aren't they, Anne? Yeah, this one's called Jay-Z Holiday. I don't remember which ones are left in the store, but I do know. Thanks, Joni, you guys too. Thanks, everybody. Um, that is all I have for you tonight. I uh, Do I have a sneak peek? Does anyone want a sneak peek, or did you all leave me? What could I sneak peek for Lucy? Um, maybe this. Can you see that? <laughs> How about that? Ah. Oh, good. I'm glad you're going to have another shopping trip. Okay, I'll show you that. Okay. The butterfly. 49 in market. That's for Lucy 5. So if you want to find out more about what this sneak peek is, sign up for Lucy 5. And uh, that is in the first weekend in May, and it's our one-year anniversary of doing Lucy's. So. so thank you, everyone. That was lots of fun. And um, <laughs> no, it wasn't another piece of paper, Lori. <laughs> I gotta keep you guys guessing, right? I can't just like show you what it is. I gotta keep the anticipation up. <laughs> All right, I had lots of fun, you guys. And um, as always, if you have any questions, you can just send us a question through uh, Facebook here or um, through Messenger. You can ask us questions there or through emails, whatever you like. So until next time, happy crafting, everyone.